Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So one small thing in Selenium, I would like to share with you guys. A couple of uh, people actually asked me to increase the speed of execution of your Selenium script. So what are the different tricks that we can use? We know that use proper XPath, proper locator, proper CSS selector, and then proper implementation of explicitly weight and everything. Avoid using thread.sleep, that's fine. But do we have any other option other than these uh, things? Yes, we can do that. So for example, let's if you see this particular website here, amazon.com, in terms of uh, loading, because when you load this particular page, there are many images are getting loaded here. You can see here, right? So on these images, taking time, taking some time, right? So what we can do, what if I do something where I just disable all the images while launching the application with the browser, in Chrome and Firefox both. So can we do something like this? So yes, of course we can do that. And so it will look like this. For example, let's see same amazon.com when I launch it, all the images are disabled because images are quite heavy, which is take, which is coming from, which are coming from some file server or some image server from Amazon or Flipkart or anything that I really want to disable. So just, and uh, I'm not bothered about or the images i'm just bothered about the data or the feature of the functionality that search is working fine or not or sign in is working fine or not these things i really want to test it quickly so that we can just uh, save some time and i don't want to waste my time in uh, you know image processing or image loading and all such things same thing you can see on flipkart also that all the images are disabled so can we do something like this with selenium yes of course we can do that so let's see how to implement this particular feature so here, what exactly I'm going to do that I'm going to, so what I'll do that I'm uh, launching my Chrome driver and let's launch driver dot uh, get, and then let's launch http.com or in or flipkart.com, any application where you see number of images are there. Then I'll do one thing, then uh, I'm going to create two methods. One is for uh, Firefox and one is for Chrome. So let's create this method that public uh, static avoid let's see disable images with chrome right this is what i really want to take it and this method says you give me the chrome options so let's take the chrome options here and under this particular chrome options we have to write some basic properties here what exactly i'm going to do that i'm going to create one hash map first and then in this hash map the key value i'm going to write key as a string and the value will be an object and i'm going to create let's see one images map which is equal to new then after that, in this particular images map dot put method that I'm going to use and the key that I'm writing images, right? Images as a, a small keyword. And then to that, we have to supply it over here, that images two. Okay. Then I'm going to create one more hash map here for my some uh, Chrome preferences that I'm going to use. So let's see, this is my uh, preferences map that I have created. In the same preferences map, we have to add a uh, one more key. I don't remember the exact key, but just let me just refer it from here that a profile dot, remember this, not that important to remember, but uh, just uh, don't do any manual mistake. Check the spelling properly. Profile dot default underscore content underscore a setting. Actually, you have to use setting underscore of values and the value will be what the value that images map that you have created, this images map that you have to uh, provide it over here. Okay. And then after that, uh, with the help of Chrome options, you just need to set the preferences. How will you do that? Dot uh, set this one, the set uh, experiment, you can use it here. Let's see this one set experimental options, you can use it. And here you have to supply the key as preferences and whatever the preferences map that you have created, you can just simple supply it over here. And once this particular option is uh, done, then you can just return the options from here, from this particular method. So instead of void, what should I write? Instead of void, I have to write that method is returning Chrome options. You can write it like this. Then what I'll do that uh, option that we have to supply here. So before that, we just need to call this particular method. So let's call this method here that uh, disable images and supply the options. Now let's see this method is really disabling all the options or not. In this images map, we have already added the key images comma two over here. And after that, we are using set experimental option. And then we are passing that, okay, yeah, pass the preferences as a key. 
and then preferences map as a value. So that's what I have written the object as a uh, you know, as a value and the string as a key. So key will be preferences, P-R-E-F-S in the small letter. Now let's run it and let's see, is it really working or not? So I'm running it and uh, the browser will be launched with the Chrome and let's see, it is disabling Amazon.in, disabling the images. Yes, see, can you see that? All the images got disabled now. So it's very quick now. So now, wherever you are going to click on any link on this particular page, all the images or all the links. So let's click on, let's see customer service or something like this. All the images will be disabled now. So the page will be rendered, page will be loaded very, very quickly because images are taking a lot of time to load the, on the page. So if you can ignore in your feature, I mean, in your functionality, if you can ignore the images, images are not playing very important role. You can just add this particular option. You can create one toggle option like true or false on the basis of that. You can set these preferences. And then uh, you can just do this experiment. So whenever you really, really want to uh, do some sanity or quick uh, execution that you really want to do, you can disable these images. Okay. In that case, uh, it's a very powerful or simple method. You can add it here. Now, same thing I can do with the Firefox also. So let's do with the same method with the Firefox. I'm going to create disable images for Firefox. I don't want to you know, use it in the same method. And then in that case, this is saying that you have to give me the Firefox options. Firefox option that we are supplying. And then the same method, let me just import Firefox options. Same method will return some Firefox options also from here. In Firefox option, you don't need to create any, all these things. What do you just need to do? You need to um, do what? You need to create one Firefox profile object. So let's create one Firefox profile. So at the profile level, we will, set the options here. So let's create the Firefox uh, profile here. Let me just uh, write quickly that uh, Firefox profile, right? This is the, uh, okay. Firefox profile that we have created and then import this particular Firefox profile from Selenium. See, it's coming from selenium.firefox. So let's import that. Now with this profile, what you can do with this profile, you can just set the preferences here directly and then you can pass the key and value. But in Chrome options, we have to write options dot set experimental options, and then you have to create the hash map first. And then here, the key is what? The key is slightly different here. I'm not okay suggesting that you have to remember the key, but uh, that's you can save it somewhere, and then you can check the official uh, documentation also for that. So here, I have written the key somewhere. Let's see here. I can just referring it permissions dot default dot for image permission. You simple say value is equal to two. So value is two means disabling the images. So permissions dot default dot image that you have to use it. And then after that, with the same options, you just need to set this particular profile here. So options dot uh, set a profile and then pass the Firefox profile that you have created. That's it. And after that, return this particular options. Okay. Now I'll do one thing. Let me just uh, do one thing. Let me just comment it out this line. And then we are going to talk about Firefox options. So I'm going to create the object of Firefox options is equal to new uh, Firefox options. And I'm going to call this particular method that disable image Firefox. So let's call this method and then supply the options here. And then after that, I'm writing web driver driver equal to new Firefox driver, right? Because now I'm going to initialize the driver with the uh, Firefox uh, driver here. And uh, in the Firefox driver, I'm supplying this options. Let me write new keyword and then that's it. Now I'm going to launch amazon.com with Firefox and the options that we have already added in this particular method, simple. Okay, this is the permission a dot default dot image. We have to add it. Now let's quickly run it and let's see. Let's see, Firefox is getting launched and um, yeah, yeah, that's good. See. It's not actually loading any image. So page is getting rendered and loaded very, very quickly. Same thing you can do experiment on other pages also where you see n number of load of lot of images, especially on any e-commerce application. Let's see, let's go to the flipkart.com. And on flipkart also, we will see that. So run as Java application and uh, let's see flipkart on Firefox. So I did this experiment on Chrome and Firefox, but I'm sure for edge, 
and other browsers also we can find some solutions similar kind of thing we can just check it over there that's your assignment that's your homework you guys can do it but here you can see that uh, there are no images are getting loaded here perfect so this is the thing guys that you can do it to speed up your uh, execution by disabling the images but again be careful while using it this is i'm not saying that this is the only recommended way there are other ways also you can improve your locator strategy xpath synchronization weight and everything redesigning the proper design patterns and writing the best algorithm for your code but still after that there are some other external things that you can do to improve the execution then in that case you can do that here as well obviously we can execute the test cases in the parallel mode but in this case if images are not important you can just quickly disable it so that's all for this particular video i hope you like it so implement it if you find some other solution i mean if you find solutions for the edge or some other browsers feel free to write in the comment section i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all